Hi guys, this is the second video I'm making on Microsoft Access. In the first video, we very briefly uh, introduced the main difference between starting up an Access file and most of the other programs we're used to using like Microsoft Word, Excel, Photoshop, and things like that. And so if you missed that one, go back and watch that one. Uh, this one will be actually, once we've created that uh, the file, we're going to actually s learn how to start up making a table. So we're going to introduce the fundamentals of tables here, which is 9 out of 10 times the first thing you're going to do in Access, because you have to make a table, thereupon you can do things to those tables. Okay? So, being in Access now, we go over to the Create tab, and we click Table and we start we get something that looks kind of like resembles a spreadsheet if you've watched uh, or you're used to using Excel you'd recognize this kind of look and uh, but it's a little bit different than what we're used to seeing okay so here is actually where the data is going to go in but the first thing you want to do with a table is actually go over to this bot top left hand corner click view and go to design view here it's going to ask you to name the table, so I'll just call this table 1 and click OK. And here is actually where you're going to build the structure of your table. Okay, So by structure I mean you're going to give your column headings and in Access the lingo is fields. So it starts you out with an ID field, so a column. You could think of each of these as columns that are going to come up on the other spreadsheet view that we were just at. Okay, So here we're going to define some columns. So first thing it gives you suggests an ID, a, column, a field name called ID, and it is gen automatically generated number. That's the type of uh, uh, field. The data that's going to go in this field is going to be an auto number, which means it'll automatically generate some number for you uh, and you don't have to type anything in. And you see here that there's a little key to the left of this. And that key means that this, is, this field is set as a primary key. Okay? And what a primary key is in database lingo is very important. Basically what a primary key is, it is the field upon which all records, meaning rows or observations, but in, in database language referred to as records, will be unique because of this field. So in this example, I'll show one. Uh, so you'll see this in an actual, actual example. But to, to just get the theory down, if you have, let's say, a customer list, and there's two customers with the same exact name, same exact birthday, same exact every attribute that you have uh, in your in your fields and, and they so they're identical but you know that they're two separate customers and you want to distinguish the two then that's what a primary key such as an ID will do for you it'll make sure that those two things don't get lumped up together and that, that they're separate things okay so this is just a little a uh, hint of what a primary key is. As you get more advanced and we do some examples, the this will come through a lot clearer. So don't don't be too concerned if you didn't grasp that right away. Okay? So let's make a couple fields here and we'll choose a couple different data types and then we'll build a table. Okay? So let's make a name field, perhaps first name. And we'll get this will be a text field. And down here, you can further specify. Uh, there's tons of things that you can further specify here, but mostly, you know, the field size. If you make it smaller, it uses less memory, things like that. So I make this a field size of 25. That means it could take up to 25 uh, characters. Okay. Last name. Again, text. Again, let's make it 25 characters. Here we'll say date of birth, and for date of birth, we'll choose date and time. And let's say, just to use something like uh, with that has numbers in it, salary, 
and for salary we can use currency field and here you can specify the number of decimals I'll specify zero decimals and you can even specify the type of currency and we're in the US so we're just going to use keep it at the default which is dollars okay and let's say we also want a picture of the individual here I don't have any pictures right now to attach to these but if you wanted a picture of a person you can actually uh, create a field called picture and select attachment as the data type and what this will do is it will you it will allow you to create a link between wherever that picture is on a server or on your local machine and uh, to that actual cell so that if anyone is going through the database they can click on that link and see a picture of that customer in this case okay but I'm gonna pass on that right now because that's going to require me to have pictures which I do not have at this moment okay oh, furthermore there is a gender field so let's say I'll choose female and then I could say yes or no so if it's yes obviously it's, obviously it's female and if it's no it's obviously male um, and you can see from here there's memo which is for longer messages you may want to write uh, we've used number, date and time, currency we've used, auto number we've used, yes and no, binary we've used. OLE object is very similar to attachment. Uh, sometimes people use these interchangeably, but this is for more advanced usage. Uh, we'll get to things like that in, in the subsequent videos. Hyperlink is just is making a link to some uh, external uh, uh, website or local uh, uh, file path okay so let's just keep it at that and now that when you're done with making your fields and you've selected the data types you can also make descriptions this is more for yourself and for other people using the data build, using the database and building the database so that they know what you uh, were thinking when you created this uh, field but for our purposes my descriptions uh, that I've given over this uh, tutorial should suffice okay so now we're actually ready to put in the actual customers informations because we have there the fields and the skeleton of this table set up now let's go in and put in the meat okay so we go over back here top left and this time we choose data sheet view and it says you must first save the table do you want to save the table now yes and it brings us back to this more spreadsheet kind of view and here we'll actually input some records which in, in uh, database language is like observations or rows in a spreadsheet language okay so remember this ID number is automatically generated and so you don't have to type anything there so for the first name let's say Mike and burger date of birth let's say six six eighty salary and it automatically formatted that eighty to nineteen eighty salary will say fifty thousand and it automatically formatted that not a female so we leave that unchecked and then we go to the next line and you see the ID automatically generated the number one so here we can say Lisa Lee uh, date of birth 8 9 87 salary 65,000 and she is a female okay and on and on we'll build our records on and on and on and on okay and then once we're done with building our records I'll leave it at 2 here just for, for purposes of, of uh, time and uh, once we're done with this table go over here in this X we close table 1 and our table appears here along the left hand side this is kind of like where everything you do in access will appear in that file so the tables will appear here forms which we haven't done yet queries reports and things like that will all appear along this left hand side and you can simply double click to look at them update them edit them and do whatever you need to them okay so key points in this video 
creating a table create table and then we go over to the data sheet view we build the skeleton skeletal structure of the table via the field names and select the data types of each then we go back to the data sheet view and then we actually put in the records in this case I put in two records two customers of ours okay and then you can close the table and when you're done with this you simply can close if you're done today with with your with your work and access once you close that table and you have a blank uh, kind of a, a screen over here you can close access and there's no saving there's no file save in access remember we created the database file in the beginning and so everything we do as I explained in that first video gets saved as we're working the only thing you should do is make sure before you close the entire program of access that you close all the individual components and you're left with this kind of blank blue area over here and you'll see all your work here on the left here we've only made one table so we'll close it and then we can close this okay I'm gonna leave it open because it might screw up the screen capture okay so make sure to watch the next video where, where I'll build another table and start uh, showing you how to create relationships between tables which will be the basis of more advanced but very useful and still uh, quite common techniques that you need to know in any database uh, especially in Microsoft Access okay so till next time comment subscribe check out my other videos I got a bunch of Excel tutorials and practice 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 have a great day